Supermarket. Author: Kathleen Krall. Illustrator: Melanie Hope Greenberg. How does food get to our supermarkets? Genre. Narrative nonfiction gives facts about real people and places in the form of a story. Look for interesting facts about supermarkets. Shopping carts clang. Magic doors whiz open and shut. Colors glow under bright white lights. So many breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. It's all at a special, necessary, very real place: the supermarket. The supermarket is a whole world of its own. Where does all this crunchy, munchy, sweet, sour, fiery, frozen, fabulous food come from? The doors don't really open by magic. When an electric eye overhead sees you coming, it starts a motor to open the doors. It all begins on farms. Our food comes from places with lots of sunshine, rich soil, and clean water. Farmers make decisions every day during the long months of growing. At harvest time, workers pick the fruits and vegetables. They pack everything neatly in boxes and load the boxes onto trucks. Certain states are famous for certain foods: Iowa for popcorn, Vermont for maple syrup. Michigan for cereal, Wisconsin for cheese, Idaho for potatoes, Massachusetts for cranberries, Florida for oranges, California for grapes, Georgia for peaches and peanuts. Picking fruits and vegetables can be painful, low-paying work. Cesar Chavez, 1927 to 1993. Became a hero for workers when he founded the National Farm Workers of America. Small trucks, big trucks, gigantic trucks all rev up their engines. Every night, drivers take off from farms or warehouses. They zoom down the highway toward your town. In early America, most people were farmers. American Indians taught the new arrivals what to grow. Among many other foods, American Indians introduced to the rest of the world chocolate, potatoes, tomatoes, beans, peppers, and most important, corn. Some form of corn appears in more supermarket foods today than probably anything else. Families grew all their own food. Later, they traded food with one another to get other things they needed. They started using money to buy things at town marketplaces. Soon there were general stores where you could buy almost anything, and little family-run grocery stores, mom and pop stores. Stores became bigger, dividing items into different departments. Now we have an amazing place where every morning workers have a whole super market all ready for you. They have unpacked thousands of boxes and arranged everything on the shelves just so. You can find more variety in the fruit and vegetable section than anywhere else. Fresh, juicy, strange, familiar. Shoppers look, touch, sniff, compare. Way, and watch out for automatic sprayers. 
Bananas are the most popular fruit, followed by apples, watermelons, oranges, cantaloupes, grapes, grapefruits, strawberries, peaches, and pears. Beds of crushed ice keep the meats and fish fresh. Butchers cut or grind meat into different sizes and wrap packages in plastic. For most of human history, food has often spoiled before it could be eaten. Not until the 1800s did people learn how to preserve food by sealing it inside metal cans. Around 1830, the English figured out a way to chill their food with machines. According to surveys, the top reasons why shoppers pick a particular store are one. Location, two prices, and three selection. The best smells float around the bakery. Bakers sometimes bake thousands of donuts a day and at least a dozen different kinds of bread. Just about everyone stops in the dairy section. Behind all the eggs, milk, yogurt, and cheese is a refrigerated area keeping everything cold. A sweater is handy in the frozen food section, where the air is coldest. Zippy music makes some people hum along or dance right in the aisle. A stamp on many fresh foods gives an expiration date. The day on which the food is no longer fresh. The store is packed with cereal, soups, spices, and even non-foods. At the checkout counter, people try to pick the shortest line. An electronic scanner reads the barcodes on most products and prints out the prices. A cash register adds up the cost of your food. Baggers ask, paper or plastic, and pack up your groceries. Think about all the people who move food from the farms to your kitchen shelves. What is a non-food? Something in a supermarket that we don't eat, like toilet paper, laundry soap, toothpaste, shampoo, and magazines. The average wait in the checkout line is eight minutes. The supermarket is never quite the same from day to day. New items are added all the time, especially from around the world. Some markets have other stores right inside, worlds of their own. Over half of shoppers, especially women, use a shopping list to make sure they don't forget anything. The average shopping list contains 22 items. Still, over half of what shoppers buy in a store is not on their list.